Hello everyone and welcome back. It's nice to see you all again. I hope everything's going well. And this will be your general weekly reading for the week of July 25th through the 31st for the sign of Aquarius. And I'd also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed and left a comment. Thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what the week has in store for you. Ooh, the Three of Cups. What a nice way to start. Celebration, happy times, good friends, nice invitations. Maybe you're just going out for the day with some people. You haven't seen in a while, which is always nice. And the Knight of Wands. Sorry about that. All right. And he's very fast moving information. Uh, could be a vacation in the very near future for yourself here. Uh, sort of off the beaten path a little bit. Maybe you're going, uh, just taking a drive or something along those lines. You know, don't do anything dangerous, though. All right. And the Knight of Pentacles. So you have a lot of young people around you here, Aquarius. Younger. Knight, they don't have to be as in teenagers or young adults it could be just somebody that's very young at heart some you know um you know the knights usually bring in fast moving um information or offers um, this like i said i think you're really getting uh, an invite perhaps here to go and uh, maybe spend a weekend or a week away with somebody which is always nice. And the Empress. So most definitely things are moving along for you. And that's, you know, this could be a, maybe you're meeting somebody at this party that you're being invited to, or, you know, it could be an anniversary and a retirement party, you know. She's very abundant, fertile. Um, what she touches comes to good growth. You know, this is, uh, you know, so uh, you taking care of your health as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> and the lovers. So maybe if you're trying to uh, Make up your mind on a relationship here. Now, this could be in a personal relationship or a career or a uh, position that speaks to your heart. Maybe you're thinking of changing jobs as well. But I'm thinking this is more a uh, romantic situation for yourself this week, for some of you, anyhow. And the Two of Swords. So, feeling a little undecisive, you know, just sort of. Keeping the balance, not sure which way to go. Just trying to hold tight on yourself. Um, you know, it'll the situation will speak to your heart. You'll know which way to go for yourself. You know, you're not not silly. You don't get persuaded very easily at all. You stick to your guns. Oh yes, and the tower. So something's definitely. Uh, come to a completion for sure in your life you know when the foundation and the structure lets go comes crashing down now this could be in your you know your finances a relationship a friendship you know something's changing or has already changed for you you know some sort of wake-up call of of uh, making this decision to uh, go forward for yourself you know speaking to your like I said, career or passion or your love interest, you know, you're going to make, going to have to make some sort of commitment of some sort, take action on something. And the moon. 
uh, you know, all of a sudden, everything's definitely changing here for you. There's no doubt about that. The rules are changing. Now, this, like I said, it could be in a relationship or a friendship, even family, or uh, it could be at work for some of you as well. You know, make sure you get uh, enough sleep, eat correctly for yourself, take care of your health. You know, don't, uh, don't let yourself run down too much. We all have a tendency to do that in the summer. Ah, and the four of rods. So yeah, you're on sturdy ground. You know, you have good foundation. You, you know what you want. Things are coming in. Uh, the seeds and stuff that you've planted is now coming to fruition. They're starting to grow in abundance. Uh, you're starting to feel a little more joyous in your life and realizing what the choices that you've made are the right ones for yourself. And the eight of rods. So fast moving information coming in. This could be an invitation as well from, you know, an unexpected source. Maybe you've uh, put out some feelers for a new job in a different area and uh, you're now getting the call to, you know, I follow through with the interview. And the Queen of Swords. So and that's an air sign, or that could be yourself as well, for sure. Uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know, they're very intellectual, they're very straightforward. Um, they don't mix words. Uh, they could be a lawyer as well. Somebody that you're talking to, or like I said, this could be yourself, just clearing the air, knowing what you need to do to take care of yourself. You're very verbally skilled. You like to read. Uh, you quite enjoy that. Try to keep an open mind this week as well on different prospects. And the Ace of Pentacles. So most definitely things are changing and coming in nice. You know, that's uh, usually the card of luck of some sort. Uh, tangible earnings could be as well for some of you. Um, you know, you have the power of uh, intuition. You know, maybe you've been uh, doing some workouts and whatever for yourself as well. It could be health-wise. And, you know, you're going to get your physical with your doctor and he tells you, wow, you're uh, doing really well. Or people starting to notice. And the seven of rods. So you've had to uh, put some people in your place, in their place, sorry. You know, you've, uh, you've come from the bottom up. You haven't had anything really handed to you here. You know, you've stood your ground. You're telling people how it is and, and the way it's going to be. So, you know, that's what all this clarity is. So maybe that's the celebration part of it that, you know, this is what's brought down that tower. You've stood your ground and, and made your, you know, your um, wake up call and realize that uh, you need to speak up and defend yourself in, in some situation. And the ace of rods. So very nice. Right. You know, some sort of opportunity knocking. Now, this could be in a job or a relationship as well. A new career, creative uh, project. Maybe you're uh, an inventor. Maybe you're thinking of, uh, you know, patenting something for yourself as well, which is nice. And the High Priestess. So she sits there and... You know, she's not very judgmental, but she's very smart. She knows what she's got to do. She just listens to everybody's sides. Now, this could be somebody that you're talking to. Like I said, they're very, they're smart. They're kind. Um, they try to listen to both sides of everything and uh, make their, you know, their decisions uh, clearly. Or this could be somebody that you're going to, to get some information about something. Now, this could be on a family matter as, as well as, you know, um, maybe somebody in your family slipped away over the years and you haven't talked to them for a long time. Now, that could be a sibling as well as a relative. You know, you just got distance over time, grew apart. It happens as well. 
you know, you just need to put things into perspective here and, and uh, maybe you're going to, either you're going to get in touch with them or somebody you know is going to get in touch with them and you're going to be quite happy to know that they're maybe coming in for a visit after all this time. And the Page of Pentacles. Well, something being offered to you. you know, opportunities knocking for sure, for sure here. Uh, you're changing stuff now, whether that's your perspective on your outlook of what you already have or what you would like to have coming at you. Uh, it's good health as well. You're starting to feel a little more, you know, giddy up in your step there and, and uh, you know, you know that you've chosen the right path here. You're, you're uh, stepping out into the unknown here a little bit for yourself, you know, after this tower moment in your life this week. You know, maybe something in the family has uh, come to light that you didn't really know about before. And, uh, or maybe you had some misinformation and now you're just clearing the air and realizing, you know, this is the way it's going to be for myself in the future. All right, Aquarius, I am going to pick and deal you the Angel Oracle cards and see if we can't get some clarity on this reading for you this week. But it all looks good. It's a quite, quite joyful get togethers and happy times. You know, maybe this is you just talking to them about, you know, the job that you had or the person in your life or, you know. All right. And your card this week is, ooh, very nice. Aha. New romance is in inevitable either with a new and oh my can't speak sorry <laughs> either with a newcomer or through rekindled passions in your existing relationships be open and giving and receiving of love wow very nice all right Aquarius looking good all right and on that note, I would like to thank you again, and I will talk to you all again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.